And uh, you know, as far as cuisine goes, you've got Long Beach gems within walking distance. There's a Portfolio for breakfast, Lola's for lunch, and um, Prospector for dinner. You know, they, uh, they hold a pretty fun karaoke night there. I've been known to frequent it myself from time to time. Oh, you don't really need to sell us, Ed. I mean, me and Bridget have been there quite a few times. Caprice, it's Bridget and I. I'm sorry, Bridget and I. She teaches at a junior college and she's always correcting me. Uh-oh, grammar Nazi. Oh my God, that joke again. You don't have to be an English major to know that this place has steel written all over it. I personally love it. Uh, hold on, it's only the first place we've looked at. Caprice, first place we've looked? Don't end a sentence in a preposition. Well, look, there's a lot to love. Great area, good people, and access to a whole lot of goodies. You know, it, it, it got an 87 walk score for its walkability. That's good. That's definitely something we're looking for. But I want to know about the garage. Uh, the garage. Yeah, well, um, actually, there's a few minor renovations I'm having done to it. Like what? What are you having done to it? Hey, Edward. Uh, yes, sweetheart. Where'd you get this walk? Well, I made it, actually. You know, I buy everything at Northgate Market, which happens to be right down the street, in case I didn't mention it. So, uh, which one of you gets the bedroom and which one gets the living room? Uh, both. What? Well, this is a one-bedroom apartment. We'd both be in the bedroom. We're together. Oh, uh, I, I just assumed you two were friends, I guess. I'd say we're a little more than friends. A little more than friends, huh? Is that okay with you, Edward? Of course! <laughs> Because if it's not, we can always go somewhere else. Bertie, stop. I don't really care how much of a steal this place is. It's, it's, it's not an issue at all. I, it, it, this took me by surprise is all. But I, who am I to judge the lives of others? Romans 14.1. Now accept the one who is weak in faith, but not for the purpose of passing judgments on his opinions. Or hers, in your case. <laughs> I'm sorry, Edward. Mm, God fucking damn it, that's good guac. Caprice, you gotta try this. Bridget, I'm allergic. I'm allergic to avocado oil, I'm allergic to gluten, and I'm allergic to scripture. Can we please go look at those other places? Caprice, I really like this place though. Come on. Ed, can you give us one minute? Sure. Right over here, sweetheart. All right, Ed. What do we have to do to finalize this place? Well, all that's left to do is get the background checks on both of you, and we should be all set. you made was heavenly. You gotta give me that recipe, hon. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it, but I'm afraid I can't. It was my mother's recipe, and she would kill me if she found out that I shared the family secret with someone. But, you're in luck. I'm whipping up a fresh batch tonight. I guess it's good I live right next door to you then, huh, hon? <coughs> Sammy, Sammy, come back here. Oh, you're such a sweet boy. Hey, Eddie, you ever figure out what that horrible smell was? Uh, yeah. Actually, um, Turns out I had a, a, a sewer leak of some kind. Imagine that. Unbelievable. I sued the hell out of that landlord. Well, she said she was going to fix it. That's good enough for me. You're too nice, Eddie. That's your problem. Well, I believe in the way of the Lord is all. What would Jesus do? That's what I always say. And I don't think Jesus would sue anyone. Judy, you must learn to love and forgive those who wrong you. I think you're right. Jesus wouldn't sue anyone. He just let them nail his sexy ass to the cross. Sammy, Sammy, come here. Oh, good boy, Sammy. Come here. Oh, good boy, Sammy. Sit, sit. Good boy. I mean to tell you, Eddie, I'm taking this advanced religious studies class down at LBCC. They're saying maybe Jesus was just a masochist. Well, I believe he had a high tolerance for pain is all. I also believe a time comes when every man must make a sacrifice at the altar of pain. 
as penance for the transgressions of all sinners who cast a dark cloud of malevolent evil over this paradise that is God's green earth. <laughs> Maybe. Hey, Eddie, why don't you come over later? We can discuss this a little further over some meatballs that I made. Well, actually, I don't think my tolerance for pain is that high. <laughs> and as far as cuisine goes, you've got Long Beach gems within walking distance. A portfolio for breakfast, uh, Lola's for lunch, and Prospector for dinner. You, you know, they, they hold a pretty fun karaoke night there that I've been known to frequent from time to time. We love doing karaoke. Islands in the Stream, it's our favorite duet. What do you usually sing? Um, I don't really have a go-to song. Uh, uh, they, candles, unfortunately, don't come with the place. Sold separately, but I can get you a good deal on those too if you're interested. It's okay. We're atheists. Well, it's never too late to invite the Lord into your life. Matthew 7:11. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find it. Knock, and it will be opened to you. It's Matthew 7, 7. Matthew 7, 7. That, that, that doesn't sound right. Trust me, it's 7, 7. You can take my word for it. 7, 7 11 is a convenience store. Hmm. Well, it's a little difficult for me to take the word of an atheist when it comes to the word of the Lord. I have a bachelor's in theology. Abraham. Sarah. Oh. An atheist with a bachelor's in theology. Well, that's a new one. What was it exactly that drove you away from the Lord? I just woke up one day and saw the hypocrisy in it all. John 5, 46. For if you believed in Moses, you would believe in me. For he wrote of me. Oh my God, I love this. The verse? No, this dip. What the hell did you put in it? Dollar Tree Salsa, right, hon? <laughs> Dollar Tree salt. I swear I could taste it in there. I think it's genius. I mean, who'd think to put something so basic? It's Dollar Tree salsa, right? Well, it's an interesting theory, but I'm afraid not. No? Oh, well, well. Well, hey, I think that a uh, horrible smell is starting to raise its ugly head again. I still think you should take legal action. Judy, I told you, I'm not going to do that. It's not the Christian way. Okay. Well, hey, what are you doing later tonight? Well, I've got some paperwork that needs going over. I think I know someone else who could use a once over themselves, huh? Judy, have a nice night. Some picking this needs a little bit more. How are we doing this fine evening, ladies? Got some good news. You know that uh, apartment you two were thinking about moving into? Well, I found a nice young couple to take it. As long as they pass a background check, of course. So, you two should be out of here soon enough. What's 
Doesn't it feel good to be doing the Lord's will? <laughs> Leviticus 18.22 Lying with mankind as with womankind is abomination. Vice versa in your case. And as far as cuisine goes, you've got Long Beach gems within walking distance. There's um, Portfolio for breakfast, Lola's for lunch, and uh, Prospector for dinner. You know, I held a pretty fun karaoke night there that I've been known to frequent from time to time myself. Well, living next to Lola's would definitely be a bonus. Have you ever had the green sauce that they make there? Uh, can't say as I have. What, what's in it? Well, I don't know what they put in it, but it's absolutely delicious. Well, I guess I'll have to try it sometime. Oh, wow, where'd you buy this at? You know, you should never end a sentence in a preposition. Well, you know, you should just go fuck yourself and let me ask my fucking question. question. So where'd you, so buy, where'd you buy this at? I didn't buy it. I made it. You made it? Well, what'd you put in it? Holy water. <laughs> right. Well, I'll be the judge of how good it is. Of course, he fancies himself a bit of a foodie, so he always has to put his stamp of approval on everything we eat. Jesus, titty fucking Christ, that's good. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. For the Lord will not hold him guiltless who taketh his name in vain. Mosiah, 1315. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured for the forgiveness of sin.